Hey guys, today we're in the kitchen and we're gonna do a little baking. We're gonna be making some oatmeal muffins, but the cool thing about that is we're gonna be using measurement to do it. And we're gonna combine a little bit about fractions. Now don't worry about my hands. Today I was doing a little tie dyeing, so my hands are a little red, um, but they're perfectly clean. It's just gonna take a little while for that dye to go off. All right, I'm looking at my recipe and I notice in my recipe that I need four cups of old-fashioned oatmeal. So I've got my old-fashioned oatmeal here, and if you notice right down here, I've got lots of different measuring cups. Notice right here I have the one-fourth measuring cup, I have a one-third, a one-half, and a one-cup. Now, my recipe calls for four cups of this oatmeal. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my one cup, I'm gonna reach right into my oatmeal, and I'm gonna put in one cup. But you know what? For the next cup, I'm gonna be a little trickier. I'm gonna use my half a cup. So if I wanna use a half a cup, how many of these would I need in order to make one whole cup? Pause and think about it. All right, if you said that we need one half plus one half to make a whole, you were correct. All right, I've got another measuring cup here, and this one says one-third. Remember, I need to put in four cups. I've got two cups in here, but now I need to put another cup in, but I'm gonna use this one-third measuring cup. So pause the video and think about how many cups you would need in order to make a whole cup. All right, let's start counting. I have one-third plus one-third makes two-thirds plus one third makes three thirds, and three thirds is equal to one whole. All right, I've got another measuring cup. So far we have three cups in here, we need four. My last measuring cup that I have is one fourth cup. So pause the video and tell me how many of these we're gonna need in order to make one cup. Okay, let's start counting. We have one fourth and one fourth, that's two fourths. And you know what, let me just tell you something. That one fourth plus one fourth is gonna equal one half because two fourths, two is half of four. But that's not a whole cup, so we gotta keep on going. So we have two fourths in here, and one fourth makes three fourths, and one fourth makes four fourths, which is a whole cup. So now I have four cups of my oatmeal that I need. The next thing that I see that I need is some cinnamon. It says one and a half teaspoons. So just like we had different measurements on our, on our uh, measuring cups, I want you to take a look at our measuring spoons also. You can see that we have different sizes on our measuring spoon. Here is a one eighth, one fourth, one half, one teaspoon, and here is one tablespoon. So you can see we've got lots of measurements here. So if I need one and a half teaspoons, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my half teaspoon. I need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So here's my baking powder, and the cool thing about this, notice how it's got a little ridge right here? So if I go in with my one half, I can level it off and put that inside. That's one half, and then I've got another half, which makes one whole teaspoon, and I need one and a half, so I'm gonna have to do another half right here, and that makes one and a half teaspoons. Now what I really did is I had one half plus one half is two halves, then I did another half is three halves, but remember we've learned that three halves is also equal to one and one half. So we've got all the baking powder in that we need. The next thing that I see I need is going to be some salt. So I see that I need a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my salt. And I'm gonna go back, you know what? This time, I'm gonna use my one fourth. So I have my one fourth teaspoon, but I need to do a half. So if you remember what we said about one fourth, if we do one fourth, plus one fourth, that makes two fourths. And two fourths really is one half. All right, the next thing that I notice that I need, this is all my dry ingredients. The next thing that I notice that I need is I need two and one thirds cup of almond milk. 
So I'm going to go ahead, I think, and I am going to use my one third. All right, we need to do two and one third of these. So you're going to have to help me count because I might forget. Here is one third. That's one third and one third makes two thirds and three makes three thirds. So I have one cup in there. I need two and one third. So that's one cup. Let's do another one. Here is one third. Here is two thirds. Here is three thirds. That makes two cups. And now I just need one third more cup. Now I have two thirds cup of almond milk inside there. The next thing that I'm gonna need is some coconut sugar. So I have some coconut sugar here and it calls for one fourth. So I'm gonna get out my one fourth measurement and I'm gonna reach in here and get out some one fourth of my coconut sugar. Right here I like to mash along Get one fourth out and just pop it in there. Next, it's calling for two teaspoons of vanilla. Isn't this cool how we can use measurement when we cook and fractions all the time? So I'm getting my vanilla and it says it takes te two teaspoons. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be a little bit tricky this time. Oof, you guys are really gonna have to help me with this because I'm gonna use an eighth, all right? So if I want an eighth, I need to make sure I get two teaspoons. So how many, I want you to pause the video and think, how many is one eighth gonna equal one whole teaspoon? Okay, how many one eighths am I going to need to make one teaspoon? I hope you said eight, because eight eighths makes one whole. So that's how we're gonna get one teaspoon, but I need two teaspoons. So that means I'm gonna have to have eight, plus eight more, that's gonna be 16. So you're gonna help me count to make sure I don't put in too much vanilla or not enough. So here we go, we need 16. This is one, woo, this might take a while. This is two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you know what? 16 eighths really means two because eight eighths is one whole. So I have 16 teaspoons in, I have two teaspoons in there um, because I use the one eighth. So sometimes if you don't have the right measurement, you might have to think about how you could make that measurement. All right, the next thing I need is one third cup of maple syrup. So I've got some syrup here. We've used that one third cup a lot. All right, so I'm gonna take my one third cup of maple syrup. I'm gonna put that in here and I'm gonna go ahead and dump that on in. All right, and the next thing that I'm gonna need is going to be um, a banana. So I've already mashed my banana up and I'm gonna go ahead and add my banana in here. It's gonna make it nice and moist. Okay, and then I'm gonna need a half a cup of peanut butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my half a cup this time. I've got this big old jar of peanut butter and I'm gonna scoop, whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop out some peanut butter. Mmm, this looks really good. Scoop out a half a cup of peanut butter. Kinda make sure I've got that all along the way with my one half cup. I'm gonna put my one half cup of peanut butter in there. Right like that. And then the last thing I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need some apples. So I'm gonna just go ahead and dump my apples in. All right, and in just a few minutes, I'm gonna have this all stirred up. Take a look at what it looks like now. And come on back in just a few minutes and you'll see what it looks like all mixed up. 
Okay guys, I just finished mixing up my oatmeal muffins so you can kind of take a look at what all that stuff, all those different kinds of ingredients coming together, a half a cup of this, a third a cup of that, two and a third cup, a half a teaspoon, all of that goes together inside of here. And I've got my, my muffin pan ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna place this inside and you can actually stack it up pretty good because it doesn't get a whole lot bigger. So come on back in a few minutes and I'll have them all filled in. Okay guys, I've got them all filled and now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven and in 25 minutes, we're gonna have some very delicious muffins. All of this was made with measurement. We can use measurement in the kitchen. We can use fractions in the kitchen. Math is just everywhere. I hope the next time you're working with mama or dad or grandma or aunt or uncle in the kitchen and you're uh, baking something, I hope you remember some of the measurements, things that we talked about today. That's all for today. Bye-bye.